for Arsenal and Manchester United. Everything is at stake tonight. Prestige and pride and a place in the Champions League final. United lead 1-0 from the first leg. Perfectly poised. Commentators Jim Beglin and Clive Tilsley. Arsene Wenger says this is the most difficult game. Real last time. Manchester United's last defeat in the competition was in the second leg of a semi two years ago. For the fifth year in so to Rome starts here. Jim Be isolated in the first leg. John O'Shea's first leg goal set the on the night, but a few days later he was insisting the match statistics were more even. Here's Ronaldo getting in behind uh, Toure. Linking up with Rooney. Oh, it almost came for Anderson. Toure by Orr is in the middle, but it's a cork cross and easily cleared by Evra. Ronaldo will have to take them on on his own. What a challenge he will shirt, though. Adding only Anderson. Ronaldo is on the move here. Giroud matching him stride for stride. Pull back towards Park. Give slips. It's Jisung Park. Away goal for Manchester United. A goal that could be worth twice its weight in goal. A sad and unfortunate slip by Kieran Gibbs allows G. Sung Park to steer Manchester United into a two-goal lead. And Arsenal must now score three times on the night to overhaul that aggregate advantage. You know, it is a slip by Gibbs who impressed everybody last week at Old Trafford, and it's it's a shame for him. But look at the pace of who obviously have to support Ronaldo as much as they can. We just saw it there. Get away to Park. And Fletcher has won it from Fabregas. And Ronaldo has won a free kick from Van Persie. Kieran Gibbs will need some help now. But is this a free kick? No, watch. He's miscontrolled it. It's gone. I don't think Van Persie. Well, it's 35 yards and more. Too far for Ronaldo to think about it. Oh! Absolutely sensational! went through Almunia, beaten for pace. And Manchester United have scored twice in a little more than ten minutes here. And Cristiano Ronaldo has matched the scorcher he scored in Porto. To leave Arsenal all but beaten already. Well, listen, I think the goalkeeper's caught. Almunia, we all know, was terrific as well in the first leg. I mean, it's the sheer cheek and self-belief of the man to even think that he can blast a free kick from that. I think the referee could have ignored it. It's one draw, two defeats, but already that appears set to change. Evra. And Ronaldo is onside again. And could go. I mean, they just can't handle this kind of pace. Almost. One thing's for sure. Sure, but Evra got him second time of asking. O'Shea's on the move. With this fella, I think he's just gone too early there, Ronaldo. It's not his, though. And Fletcher told Ronaldo to stay out of it. Now he can get involved. He was offside when the initial ball was played through. It's good communication from Darren Fletcher. Wayne Rooney! Oh, he did a really... It's clever of Fletcher to basically tell Ronaldo not to get involved initially. This is very well struck from Rooney, and I think it is headed right into the corner. Anderson with the corner. Ronaldo! Well, the only man marking he was Nemanja Vidic. Two of them rose. Aldo with a long-range free kick, which went straight through Manuel Almunia after 11. Here's Ronaldo again. He scored in the semi-final against Arsenal. Almunia should still be reading it and getting across. You know, he knows what he's dealing with. That's Ronaldo on towards Fletcher. Carrick, Ronaldo. Manchester United still hungry for more. Predicament, you know, and there probably are one or two still kind of trying and trying to G the rest, but I think there are one or two heads gone as well. Everett was too strong for him there. Sent on his way by Ronaldo. There'll be current Sunday League centre forwards, many ex centre forwards nodding knowingly in their living rooms right now, saying goalkeepers get too much protection. Ronaldo, you need protection from him. Almunia got everything behind that one. Carrick, Ronaldo, oh, that was a sliding challenge from Sanya right under the referee's nose. Or in yeah, front of the goal. He, well, <laughs> if he stands centrally behind the wall... 
it's Ronaldo. Well, that one did seem to move. But Almunia watched it carefully and fielded. And in terms of testing out Edwin van der Sar so far, Arsenal. On the foul on Ronaldo. Song shakes his head. Yeah, the referee could not have been better placed. Well, Fletcher's very displeased and Fabregas and Ronaldo, two young men who are not exactly. It's Carrick. Oh. Ronaldo takes. And so this time, nature and the timing of the two goals. They, those two moments changed the semi final. Perfect. Good movement from Fletcher, found by Evra. And here's Ronaldo. I mean, your instinct, if you're an Arsenal player, is telling you to keep going, keep battling, but... There's Ronaldo scored from so far out, but from St Park and to Cristiano Ronaldo, particularly from an Arsenal point of view, they were both avoidable goals. And now, the unavoidable reality is that they need a miracle. At half-time, it's Arsenal nil, Manchester United two. FA Cup semi-final at Wembley, they lost dramatic, dramatic draining occasions all, but now for Manchester United, Watched by a, oh, a former Manchester United player, what's he called? He's playing the right wing. Park. Here goes Ronaldo. Stretching Juru. He has support. Ronaldo will go it alone, and that's a very smart save by Almunia. Very quickly down to his left. Ronaldo equally as dangerous on either side. No signs of really getting that kind of impetus in their play, getting that momentum they need. And there's that fear all the time that you're not... Ronaldo. Roche. Ronaldo can break. Decent part. Rooney's got some space to his left. Here is Wayne Rooney. Ronaldo's getting up with him. Rooney has found Ronaldo. How about that? How about that? One end of the field to the other. In the blink of an eye, Cristiano Ronaldo scores for the second time on the night. And Manchester United can pat their backs for Rome. What a break. Devastating, absolutely devastating for Manchester United. But we knew they could do that. And it all started with a vintage header as well, you know. I mean, himself and Ferdinand were in the thick of it as Arsenal just tried to build a bit of momentum. He wins the... Ronaldo. Five. FA Cup final, the uh, penalty shootout win sealed by Jens Lehmann. He stopped Paul Scholes' kick. Here's Park. It's a good stop by Almunia, he got his angles right on his near post. Well, still full of industry, Park. You know, it's a lovely little one too. He plays with belt, but maybe Arsenal just needed a little more bite. Here's Fabregas trying to provide some on the night. It's a wonderful recovery by Fletcher. Oh, penalty's been given. Oh, he looked to play the ball. Oh, it's a red card, and Darren Fletcher, in that moment, sees his personal dream of playing in a Champions League final taken from him. He's got the ball, though, by then. The ball's gone. And Arsenal can score here. Van der Sar. A rather ironic cheer greets the penalty. That is of relatively little consequence because Arsenal still need four more goals but what is of great consequence is that Darren Fletcher and Fletcher sadly will not be in Rome he was on the bench in Moscow but he sat it out there's Berbatov very soft on saw Harold Webb he wait for cup Bernard Bremen Hamburg last week and any hint of simulation he just ignored. This fella seems to have gone for, for everything. In the death throes of the match. Five goals in their six meetings before last season's semi-final, which was settled by a single Paul Scholes goal. It was on a hat trick. It's Ronaldo! <laughs> Not bad, was it? 
Well, he might have been just positioned enough. And another Ronaldo free kick on the way. And that's not as good for an Arsenal trophy. Yeah, you're talking about high-caliber players, you know, a fantastically versatile squad, Manchester United. Ronaldo, here's Giggs. Oh, he just couldn't quite gather it in his strike. Ronaldo caught in the chest. Indirect. Right, then he'd probably be your man, Nasri. He'd be your man. Still two more to go. World champions and questions for Arsene Wenger to answer. When does pretend another season without a trophy for Arsenal? Manchester United, maybe another first for Fergie on the way. Much to admire in that United performance. We'll examine it all. We'll look at their potential Champions League final opponents.